What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Michael, the Shy City Hacker. Specializing in Lake Michigan kayak fishing content, so if that's what you enjoy, you wanna learn more about, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to share with you some of my favorite spoon colors based upon different scenarios. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's jump straight into this and talk about springtime spoons for your uh, lake trout, your brown trout, and your coho. I'm gonna jump in here and show you some of my favorites. By no means is any of this an end all be all. There are many other spoons that will work. However, these are the ones I have high confidence in that have worked year in and year out. And I do think are some spoons that are essential halves that it should be in everybody's spoon box. So let's jump straight into it. Uh, no real secret here, double orange crush. A staple uh, 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 color here. This is by Michigan Stinger. Other brands have their versions, they might call it a little bit something different, but it's essentially the two orange stripes and then you've got the silver plating down the middle. This is a fantastic spoon for the spring. In springtime, you'll find that oranges tend to do really, really well uh, with these fish in the water. You're generally not fishing too deep. You know, in most cases you're fishing, uh, you know, certainly less than 30 feet of water. You're not having the fish super deep down. The water's cold. These fish are up in the water column. Uh, so we've got the double orange crush right there. Uh, another great one that I really, really like here is going to be this guy right here. This is from Warrior Spoons. It's a flutter spoon from them, and this is the Steelhead Candy. Another, as you notice here, you've got a lot of orange in it. Another good one I really, really like as well. Uh, as we continue on, when we're talking about the springtime here, uh, another one that we're going to go to that performs really, really well for me is going to be, there we go, Copper Confusion. We've got some copper in the mix, especially if there's a lot of browns around. These browns, something about copper color and the gold uh, really stands out to them and does really, really well. And while we're talking about that, you never, you can't go wrong here with the Half Moon series from Moonshine. This is the Steely Ranger. And again, this is on a gold plate. You've got gold on one side, you've got the glow on the other with the orange around here. And then the last spoon that I'll go to a lot in the spring here is a green one here. This is Mongolian Beef by Moonshine. I like this one as well in the spring. And these tend to be a lot of times when I get out in the water, in the cold water right now, uh, these would be the, the collection that I'm cycling through. That's in my spread, uh, letting the fish dictate to me what they want, but these are what I'm gonna start with. And then I'll adjust as the day goes on out in the water to see, am I getting any action, any kind of movement on it? And if not, then I'll cycle through some more. But these five right here, um, really good and definitely recommend having in your spoon box. Next, let's talk about summertime and the spoons that I use and are my go-tos for the summer period where you're offshore, you're fishing deeper in the water column, um, you're fishing for a variety of fish, coho kings, uh, lakers, steelhead, um, I'm gonna share with you some of the ones that are in my top five rotation. And again, this is not an end all be all, but these are the ones that I start with, have high confidence in, that do really, really well. Right out of the bat, I love blues in the summer. Just really do well for me. Um, blue flounder, I, I can't even tell if you guys can see it, but it's chewed up on the bottom here. This thing, summertime is out there, easily one of the first out for me, and that is blue flounder. Another one that has been just doing a lot of damage the last two years, in fact, last year was a phenomenal year for this color. By and large, couldn't keep, the, keep this one on the shelves. It was just being <laughs> bought out, which is Bloody Nose. Bloody Nose had an excellent year last year, uh, last year in our area, hands down, no arguing that this was the number one selling spoon, number one used spoon, uh, and it caught a ton of fish uh, last year really when we kind of transitioned from the spring to that summer and then summer the rest of the year it was just on fire uh did a lot of damage another one of my go-to's here is going to be caramel dolphin i love this spoon it'll take kings steelhead really like this as well in the summertime can't go wrong with it this is on the moonshine stinger silver blank on the back a couple different brands have a similar pattern it might call it a little bit something different with with dolphin in the name of it or caramel in the name of it but Really, really like this. this is going on my lead cores 100% for sure. And I'm fishing, you know, that thing six or eight colors. So you're fishing still, on, you know, kind of the top half of the water column where some of these other spoons, like the blue ones, are getting on the torpedo and they're going down to the depths as much as I can, put it down there. Um, but that Carmo Dolphin, really high confidence and it has been a really consistent um, uh, spoon for me. 
Another one that I like, especially on lead core when you're fishing the top 40 feet of water is gonna be this stud. It's a Michigan Stinger Spoon again, it's called Stud. It's silver blank. Uh, and what's great about this is, is that this thing is just flashes insane. Just the amount of flash off this thing, which is why I like it on a lead core fishing high in the water column. I picked it up last year when we got it at the shop and uh, I used it and I was really impressed at just how consistent of a action I would get on it. Multiple hits, multiple fish caught on it. Uh, for me, just trying it on a whim, it really performed really, really well. And I really like that. And that's something that is gonna be stuck back on one of my leg core lines over this summer as well. So this next spoon I'm about to show you is kind of one of those spoons where people either love it or hate it. It's not really a, too much of in between here, but Raspberry Carbon RV. I love this thing and I actually use the spoon when I'm fishing middle of the day afternoon. It will catch kings in the middle of the day better than some of my other spoons. Now this is just from my experience out on the water. I'll soak this thing down there and uh, I, I love it. Very high confidence in this, big believer in this spoon. It works really, really well. I think a lot of times uh, what prevents people from having su success on it is that they're not committed to it. They'll soak it in there and nothing happens in the first 10, 20 minutes and they're like, all right, never mind, change it back to something else. And I think you just have to commit to it and it's like, hey, we're gonna soak it. It's gonna work, it's gonna work. Um, but I certainly like it on overcast days, middle of the day, bluebird skies, when I'm fishing, I've pulled multiple kings down 60 or 80 feet uh, over the summer off of this spoon. Some of them been on video as well. You've got some back on my channel. Love the uh, RV Raspberry Carbon. Um, and then another one I want to show you, when we get into July, I'm, I, there's something about blues that just really pick up for me. Um, we're going to have the Blue Hulk here. And this is an RV, it's a moonshine spoon. Love this thing. This thing's gotten chewed up as well. Um, as you notice here, got blue founder up here. We've got the blue Hulk right here. Again, these darker colors, believe it or not, I think sometimes people may think I always got to have like the flashier, you know, bright colors. Um, I have found that the darker blues, purples, especially if you're fishing deep in the water, you know, I don't, I'm in my kayak, I'm fishing at best 80 feet down. That's, that's really, after that, it starts to get very difficult in the kayak. But if you're fishing deep in the water, 80, 90, 100 or deeper, I, I like the darker colors. Now let's talk about uh, first thing out in the water, the sun's not even up yet, it's still pitch black out in the water. This is the first spoon I'm starting with. Now for me, this has a very short window. Many other people use it throughout the day and have success, but for me, I'm only using it right when I get on the water and I set my lines up until the point where the sun breaks the horizon, when the sun fully kind of breaks that horizon, it's coming off, but RV Bad Toad by Moonshine. Fantastic, did a lot of damage last summer, exactly in that time period before the sun came up, up until the, the sun started breaking the horizon, then it, it, the action kind of died off of that, and so I would change it to something else, but to start your mornings, RV Bad Toad, can't go wrong with it, fantastic spoon, does a lot of damage. Now you may have noticed I have not shown you any magnum sized spoons at this point. And the reason for that is because I'm generally not fishing deeper than hundred feet of water with my presentations down because I'm in the kayak. Um, if I was, I would be using some of these spoons in the magnum sizes. I think if you're in a boat, definitely shoot for that and go bigger when you go deep. Um, but because I'm fishing, you know, the top 60 to 80 feet of water, um, I stick to the standard sizes or I will go down to like the mini, uh, like these little guys here, which are like the walleye size spoons. This is from Moonshine, different brands have similar small size profiles, um, which produce as well. Just kind of depends on what's going on, what I think is around, if there's steelhead around in the area, I actually will downsize. I think steelhead will jump on those smaller baits um, a lot more faster than some of the standard sizes, um, especially if they're feeding on the juvenile alewives and uh, even small perch that are out, you know, offshore. Um, so keep that in mind here. I think you'll also notice that most of my spoons have some type of tape, RV or UV tape on them. I don't use a ton of, and I'll be honest with you, I don't use a ton of the um, non-RV or just the plain Jane spoons. Not that there's nothing wrong with them. This is more so of a confidence thing for me. And I do like the fact that with these 
with these RV tapes or the UV tape spoons, what's great about them is that if you want to glow it in the morning before the sun comes up, you can do a quick little flash and these spoons hold that, you know, that light very, very well. Um, what's great about it, what I think is with the difference between the non-RV and the RV <clears throat> is that when I do flash the flashlight on it real quick, you don't sit there and cook it, just left and right, left and right, and I'm done. That's it. That's all it takes. Um, so you don't have like a nuclear reaction glow. It should be a subtle glow. But what I like about the RV tape is that when you shine the light on it, it kind of mutes some of that glow off of it and you kind of get the edge glows a little bit more than the where the tape area is. Um, versus if you glow these spoons, it's the whole thing is, is lit up entirely. And I just don't always think that that's a super natural looking presentation in the water. These fish are not feeding on alewife that are glowing, right? They eat them in the dark. They can see them, they can sense them. Um, so I think sometimes there can be a tendency to overglow the non-RV and with the RV, I can glow it real quick and the taping helps to mute some of that from overglowing and, and make it a little bit subtle. That's my theory uh, and how I look at it. Uh, my reasoning anyway. Now I wanna pull out some spoons that I really like when I'm trying to target, say, steelhead, or if I'm working in for brown trout, all right? Um, one of them that is an essential go-to fantastic spoon, which is no longer made. However, uh, over at Lake Michigan Angler, we've been having them do custom runs of these. These are discontinued, really, uh, but if you can get your hands on the gold HUD, it's a gold blank, very simple, a little uh, ladder back, and little piece of tape on it. This thing is fantastic for browns when you're fishing in that 30, 40 uh, feet of water or so. You're trying to pull a brown out of there, working it just off the bottom. Uh, great. You can also run this off a of lead core, five, seven, eight, ten 10 color when you're looking for steelhead that are you know up in the water column or like a 200 copper. Gold HUD is such a fantastic spoon and I will throw it out there if I'm uh, you know looking to see if there's any kind of steelhead around. And they do also make the silver HUD version as well. Uh, but I tend to run the gold HUD more than the silver one. And those are Michigan Stinger Spoons. Another fantastic one to run out here, again, multi-species killer, is gonna be your Dream, Re Dream Reaver. Uh, this is a Rasta Goose. This is a gold plated here. You can see here, we've got the green, the chartreuse, and the uh, orange coloring on here. You've got the gold backing on here, got some tape on the side, on the front of it rather, it's some uh, UV tape on there. Another great spoon for, you know, a multitude of species out there for your trout and your salmon. Um, again, off a of lead core or like a high line, uh, 200 copper, 300 copper, I think that'll perform really well for folks. Um, it's another one that it goes right on my lead core and I'll work it in the top 50 feet of the water column. And finally here, because I don't want anyone to come at me in the comments, uh, uh, blasting me because I didn't mention this one spoon, which is a, a classic. It works all year round, honestly, but you're Wonder Bread, right? This is a taped moonshine uh, RV Wonder Bread. Um, I mean, what can I say? It's pretty much a staple. Some people love it. It works good for me. Uh, it, it, I don't think it really outshines some of my other spoons, but this works really well too. And for a lot of people I know, this stays on one of their rods, no matter what, it stays on. This never comes off. In fact, they, they have like 30 of them in, in packaging ready to go in case one gets broken off or, or whatever the case may be. So uh, Wonder Bread is another fantastic one. I've got many more in here. Some of them are very similar to some of the ones I showed you here that um, I have. I, I, in fact, I should have mentioned here, I, I can't really not mention it here, but your blue dolphin. It's another staple color. Blue dolphins call me mini kings in the summertime. Uh, you know, just running it back, maybe 50 feet back and running it down 40, 50, 60 feet and does really, really well. And another a must have essential to have in your spoon box. Look, I can go on and on and on, but this video would probably be a couple hours long. I mean, there are some really good spoons. Um, I tend to use just a few brands, not that there's anything wrong with some of the other ones out there. These are the ones that I just know work and they work consistently for me. Um, I am getting into trying some new stuff. Uh, I do wanna point out here last season, we tried out, we were on the boat on this one and this uh, blue uh, fin, fin tackle spoon was incredible. It blew everything out of the water. So I have added a couple different types of spoons and you can tell here that it's, it's, it's quite different from anything else that we have up here, right? The, the shape of it itself is more pronounced like a um, oval shaped. Uh, also 
quite different is the single hook, which I'm going to try it out. I, I tend to think that like last year we had a lot of drive-bys and I think it's because they hit and they didn't stick on the single hook. So I may end up changing these to treble hooks just because the trebles have a, a better chance of catching something on the fish and sticking them. Uh, so we've got that in the blue. We've got that in the green. Green Knight, I believe it's called, and uh, Blue Knight. And then we've got it in, oops, uh, we've got it in Wonder Bread as well over here, if I can dig it out. Uh, we've got the Wonder Bread version. They all glow. This is a flat finish. There's no tape. I might put a little piece of tape on this one just because I tend to like having tape on them. Uh, so I, I do have some of those in there. We've got some Pro, tro, uh, we do have some other Pro King spoons in here that are kind of like, I'll pull them out once in a while to test them out, but they haven't really... Uh, worked for me as they do work for other people's and that's just kind of how it happens So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to like subscribe to the channel Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video